This question is taken from the 2019 revision booklet, Department of Education. Now, if you look at this activity, it's uh, a table that's presented to you of tariffs. And we are concentrating on 1.2, which is the second type of question that will be asked to you in an examination. Now, what's presented to us is an amount, and we need to work backwards in order for us to get the amount of kiloliters used. And we must take note that they asked us to round off our answer to the nearest whole number. Also, about the table, we notice that there is two different tariffs. So, there is one tariff for the normal, which is the center. And in the last column, there is one for wood restrictions. Now, in your particular question in 1.2, they are advising us which column to look at. It says during normal times. So, we will focus on the center column and look at those tariffs for this particular question. In some exam questions, they give you two tariffs in terms of domestic tariffs and then they'll give you commercial tariffs. So, in your question, they'll direct you which one to work with. So, this is something to look for in your exams when you are starting your question. In this step here, I've chosen the number line method. And remember, there are two types of methods in doing this. There is the number line method, which you see in front of you. And then there is the table method. And I will answer using both methods. And you can see which one uh, works best for you. Uh, I, all, all I've done is in the number line method is drawn the number line. And if you look at the table above, you will see the different uh, intervals from 0 to 6 and so on. And I've presented that on a number line. And then I've taken the normal charges in the middle column of the table above and I've put that on the top of the number line to show it at which interval this particular charges are. So, in, for instance, in 0 to 6, it's free and 6 to 15, I will pay a rate of 8 and 35. So, this is basically how the number line is presented. In this step here, all I've done is with each interval, I'm indicating uh, right at the bottom how many kiloliters of water I'll be using. So if you look at the first inter interval from 0 to 6, I'll use 6 kiloliters of water. From 6 to 15, I'll use 9. How I get this is 15 minus 6. I got 9. And the third interval, if you notice, it's from 15 to 30. That would be 15. So all I would simply do in my calculations is by the first 6 at the right at the bottom, I'll multiply it by what's free so it will be 6 times 0 I'll get my first amount then I look at the 9 9 times what's my tariff is 8 rand 35 and I'll add that and then I look at the third one it will be 15 times 10 rand 16 and I will add that further until I arrive at the amount of 200 remember I must stop at 200 so if the 15 becomes too much I need to use a method in order for, for me to arrive at 200 before I show you how we arrive at the 200, I will explain using the table method and it would make much more sense to you as to how we arrive at the 200 amount. This same principle can be applied in the number line method. So with the table method, we have the intervals initially in the first column. Then we show our calculations. We have our subtotals. And I had it in another column where it's the amount we need to reach. And we know that the amount that in this particular example, we need to reach is 200. So by looking at the table above, the first column is 0 to 6. And in 0 to 6, our calculation would be 6 times 0. And we would add, have a subtotal of 0. And this information can be also taken directly from the number line method. If you now look at the table, we notice the second row. Our interval is from 6 to 15. And remember, we said it was 9. So it will be 9 times 8 rand 35. And our subtotal will be 75 rand 15. Now, if we add up the 0 and the 75 rand 15, we have 75 rand 15 thus far. Now, we must keep in mind that we need to reach the total of 200. As we move on to our third interval, it's the 15 to 30. We see that we have to multiply by 15 times the rate, which is 1016. And I get an amount of 152,40. Now, if I add this to the 75 rand on the last column, 75 rand plus the 152, I see I will get an amount of 227. And you mean, we must realize that this is beyond what we wanted. We wanted the amount of 200. Now that we know in which interval to stop, we focus on this interval here and arrive at our 200. 
Now keeping in mind we're working with the third row. So all I've done is I've indicated right at the bottom under the amount to reach that I'm stopping at 200. Now taking into account that amount, all I have to do is take 200 and I subtract the 75 and 15. And if you notice in my subtotals, I now have the amount of 124 and comma 85. The 124 and comma 85 is an amount that I need to have when I add all the totals in the third column and I must arrive at the amount of 200 in my last column. Now, if we focus on the calculations column, all I've done in that column is multiplied by the rate of each interval I've multiplied by the rate. Now, in order for me to get the exact amount I need to arrive at the 124 and which I need, I will have to divide by the rate and work backwards. Now, by taking the 124 N, 85 in the totals column and I divide it by the rate which is 10 rand 16 in the calculations column I arrive at that long decimal and I've left it as a long decimal just to show you how we got that working so why do I need that long decimal we must know that in the calculations column all those amounts that are being multiplied by the money by the rate is basically the amount of kiloliters of water we have used at each interval and remember our question asked us to, to calculate the amount of water the person used for 200 now in our last column you look at we've arrived at 200 rand so all we need to do is to add up the amount of water or kiloliters the person has used now I've done that in the step below this if you notice I've added, added up all the amount of water we used including the long decimal and I've left it as a long decimal uh, for a purpose which we will find out shortly now one of the things I told you to remember about the question was that they asked us to round off our answer to the nearest whole number and this is why I've left it as a long decimal to show you that at the end we have to round off our answer to the nearest whole number